Hello, this is my 1972 Ford Mustang, and I was like, so it all started when me and my dad and my uncle went up to this person who got the who got this car from Cal California, and so when he traded his caravan, uh, he traded it for this, and Justin. He, and my uncle thought that this was worth the 2500 that he was asking. So when this got back to his place, we we set it in his garage for storage. And it just sat there and sat there in storage. And I finally, it just sat there and it grew on me and grew on me. So finally, after it grew on me enough, I decided that I was going to work, well, first of all, I was going to get the money that I needed, and then I'll just work the balance off for him. So I roughly got around 1500 or whatever, and so then I just worked the balance off, just doing some of the projects he wanted done, so when those were all done and everything, he gave the car to me and so then it sat outside for a little bit after it sat outside my my dad came out and he decided to help fix it so he came out and <laughs> came out and so the distributor here this distributor right here as you can see right down here when I turn it it moves out and in I believe when it's in, yeah, when it's in and touching, it will send a electricity from the super coil. It's right up there if you want to peek in there, and it would send it. It would send it. The super coil would send a shock, and when it was touching this end right here, it would be touching one of the spark plug wires, and it would send the shock through the spark plug wire to the spark plug, and then it would ignite and go. Phew, and it would give you power. So, yeah. So that's that. It was, something was wrong with it. It was, like, um, the coil in it was broken or something. I'm not exactly sure. Something was broken in it. But, yeah. So, <laughs> we got a new one. And, uh, if you look in the bottom of this, you'll see there's a little, like, wrench basically that it would go on and there's a rod that will fit in the end of that and it would fit in the end and it would go down and it would drive the oil pump my dad didn't get it in there so when when we got it running when we got it running it we took it up and down the street and so when we got to the street and we turned around we were on an idle going down the hill and it dry seized and all, all I know is it just went, and I went, no, no, don't let this happen to me. I don't want this engine ruined. No. And so as it was cooling off, it, like 30 minutes later or whatever, it just barely started rolling over. And Dad said, it, it should be fine. I hope nothing's broken in it. But so then we got some time on our hands later today. Or not today, but uh, later on. We uh came out here and... We had, there's a syringe needle up there that my dad used. He filled it full of synthetic oil. And we took the spark plugs out and he, he squirted some in there so it dripped down the sides of the cylinder so they all oiled. And then we put the spark plugs back on and it smoked horribly at first, but that's just the synthetic oil burning off or whatever. And then after the gas got in there and everything, it fired right up and yeah, it was fun. So we did that with every single spark cylinder. And yeah, it's, it's, as you look, my, everybody that knows about this calls it the disgusting. I am not a fan of that, but they call it the disgusting. And if you look, it ain't doing so hot in here. It's a little bit, uh, yeah. That's why we have this cushion. But yeah. Secret stash of coins. I got that. Secret stash.
But yeah, that's about everything from this car. But yeah. Just ever since I've laid eyes on it, I've always wanted it. It just grew on me, grew on me, and then finally I got it. It's just been a trip for me. Trip for me. That's all I can say. Wonderful trip. I'm thinking about when I grow up a little bit and and are and I'm able to drive cars. I think I might keep this as a show car, maybe. But I'm not too sure. It'd be a lot of cleaning. But yeah. So see ya. Watch out for our next video. It might be surprising. Like, comment, subscribe, and see ya.